alias names, concatenation, and distinct keywords in select statements. I hope we are quite familiar with select statements from earlier lessons. Here we are going to see the alias names, concatenation, and using distinct keyword in the select statement. Let's start with alias names. A column alias name is an alternative name given to the column in a select statement. Basically, it is used to rename the column heading in select statement, and it allows the user to understand the output easily. Take a look at this image. Here we have given the query, Select Alternative Rows from the table. Oracle Server processes the query and retrieves the records from the database as we have seen. We will observe this practically later in this lesson. Now we can discuss this in detail. Here's the syntax for displaying the alias names in a select statement. Select column name as alias name from table name. Here an alias name is specified after the column name in the SELECT statement. The keyword AS is used between the column name and the alias name, but this is optional. We can give blank space between the column name and alias name instead of specifying the keyword AS. If we want to use special characters or spaces in the alias name, write the alias names within double quotations. Here's the statement for alias name. Consider the table EMP, which has column names like EMPNO, ENAME, etc. Generally, if we select all the rows from the table, it will show the column heading as EMPNO, ENAME, etc. Now type the statement like this. Select EMPNO as employee number, ENAME as employee name from EMP, and then press the Enter key to execute it. In the result, this statement renames the EMPNO column heading as employee number, and ENAME as employee name. Likewise, we can change the column names in the output. Concatenation Operator Here we will discuss how to use the concatenation operator in a select statement. It concatenates the columns or character strings to other columns with the use of the concatenation operator. By using this operator, we can connect the columns, arithmetic expressions, or constant values. Here's how to add the values of two columns in a select statement. Type the statement like this. Select ename concatenation operator, and then the string is working as then add one more concatenation operator. Finally, add the column name job from the table emp. Now press the Enter key. Now the statement shows the result as employee names and their jobs with the string which we have specified in our select statement. Here we look to eliminate duplicate rows from the table. Keyword distinct is used to do this with the select statement. Generally, tables may contain a number of the same entries. To avoid repetition of rows, use the keyword distinct in the SELECT statement. Consider this list where there are many names and their details stored. Here, the same name is repeated three times. In order to avoid this type of duplicate entries in the result, we can use the distinct keyword in the SELECT statement. Let's give it a try. Type the statement like this. Select job from EMP, now press Enter. The result of this statement shows the jobs of all employees. In this result, jobs are repeated several times. We can use the distinct keyword in the statement like this. 